This program is brought to you by Advantage Dodge Ram Chrysler Jeep at 20th and Main in Farmington. Visit today for your best deal. You're watching the Thanksgiving edition of Durango TV News. I'm Ashley Dixon. Paul Falwell is a landscape artist who loves to ski. Or is he a skier that loves to paint landscapes? Ask him and he'll say he's both. Falwell, one of Purgatory's legendary legends and a renowned landscape artist, will celebrate 50 years of painting the Purgatory area in the San Juan Mountains with an exhibit at Maria's Bookshop in December and January. The exhibit opens with an artist's reception during the first Thursday gallery walk from 5 to 8 p.m. on December 3rd in downtown Durango. The reception is open to the public. Falwell has been drawing and painting for as long as he can remember. He attended the Colorado Institute of Art after high school, then landed a job as an artist with a greeting card company in Ohio. After years of painting bunnies, kittens, and other cutesy animals for greeting cards, he returned to his native Colorado, where he enlisted in the Colorado National Guard to fulfill his military service. When he finished his tour of duty, he began the lifelong pursuit of another passion, skiing. First thing I wanted to do when I got out was uh, go skiing, and so, I went up, I skied, I think I skied to Arapahoe that day, and I stopped off the Red Ram, and, and back in the, in the early 60s, the Red Ram was a place. This was before a lot of the ski areas were even developed. It was uh, before Breckenridge and Keystone and Copper, and so it was kind of a hot spot for skiers to hang out. And uh, uh, they had a help wanted, you know, sign. I said, well, that wouldn't be bad. I could go ski, you know, ski the rest of the season, and then I could get on with my art career and and see what's happening there. And so I took the job. I, I started out as a bouncer, and then they turned me into a bartender, but I think I made a buck 25 an hour. Man, I was living, I had room and board. That was back in the days when, you know, you could really be an honorable ski bum. And uh, I didn't have to be back to work till, you know, three o'clock in the afternoon. And it was great. And I figured, well, great, when it ends, then I can paint during the day. I, you, know, you know, why the commercial art? I don't want to be back inside a building. I want to be out. And so, you know, I, this was a dream job. Follow moved to Durango in 1965 to become Purgatory's first ski patrol director, and later its mountain manager. He cut trails and built lifts in the summer and skied in the winter. When Purgatory opened the Legends area on the back side of the mountain, Falls Park was named in his honor. Through it all, Falwell continues to paint, and after leaving Purgatory, painting became his full-time occupation. He breaks up his time in the studio with traveling and skiing at least once a week at Purgatory during the ski season. The years that Falwell spent in the woods around Purgatory and the surrounding San Juans have continued to inspire his paintings to this day. His ability to capture a moment in time with the reflection of an afternoon light on a skier's spray of powder or a spot of sunshine dancing on a snowy white meadow is the signature that defines his unique landscapes. It's, it's you know, you're off in the trees and you're by yourself and you really get to look around and uh, it's magical to me. It's just, it's magic. I had many great times by myself in the woods. I, I really enjoyed tromping around, especially the Purgatory area, and then I, later on the Gray Rock area. And uh, it's, it's that quiet, still, and you really start looking around and you, you're trying to figure out what is magical about this. What is it that, that strikes you? And it is, it's the way the light falls, and, and that's what it's trying to capture, is that the stillness, the the, the magical quality of it. There's nothing like going out in the woods by yourself. In the winter time, it, it's uh, just something else. I just think it's, it's just terrific. Today, thanks to the marketing genius of his wife, Cheryl, Paul Falwell exhibits and sells his paintings exclusively out of his garage studio in the Animus Valley. Cheryl supplements studio sales with an occasional private showing during a dinner party at a local patron's home. Falwell jokes that they've adopted the Tupperware model of marketing for his paintings. But it works. He's selling more paintings than ever. The exhibit at Maria's Bookshop this winter will be a rare public display of his work, and it's dedicated to the mountains that have inspired his paintings for the past 50 years. To learn more about Falwell and this winter's exhibit, or to see an online gallery of his work, visit his website at paulfalwell.com.